So what are we dealing with today? We've got a cow that thinks she's a reindeer and we've got a little black Angus cow, extremely lame, on her front left foot. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over to the name of Hoof Trimmers. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech TV. I have to get this cow that's for trimming into the crush, but first I need to get this little cow here that should have been a reindeer. Reason for that is, she went running up the race and just took one big buck lap jump and she got straight through the crush before I could get it closed. So she's coming round and then I'm going to bring this other little black Angus cow, which is lame. We're going to bring them both together, so they'll be there for moral support. Now girlie, you wee bit lame. You want to leave your wee calf here for a minute just till we get the fix? It really amazes me that once the cows get onto the rubber, it's a little bit softer than the concrete, they just take off and just an extra, an extra high gear. Come on girls, come on, in you go. Just to try and fix that front foot of yours. Now we just need to see which one's gonna go first. The little skipping reindeer or this black Angus cow. Skippy up there. Come on. As you can see this girl is very reluctant to put any weight on that front left foot. As you can see this cow is really really lame on this foot and really needs our help to bring her some sort of comfort. She has got a little bit more dirty this past few days. She's been lying down more because of her sore foot and can you really blame her? So we've got this hoof up, we've got it washed. There's nothing visible from that hoof, from the regular hoof angle or camera angle, but I just let this down just to show you how messy it actually really is. It's not a pretty one, but we're gonna have to try and do our best. There's a big patch of digital dermatitis here. I think it's coming down this claw here. Start this off with a routine trim, and I know we can't really see very much from this angle. The real hoof injury is on the other side. We will do our best today to redistribute this cow's weight, but this is something the vet will have to take a further look at. is extremely hard and extremely brittle feeling of it through the knife but I am going to block this here because the damage is at the front of this claw here I know we can see nothing here it's a really hard thing to fill up but I'll show you as much of it as I can but we need to get the weight of this claw first by putting the block on here Just going to model this out like we would really any trim here. If I am able to get it modeled out, it's very hard. Makes my knife look very sharp or very <laughs> not sharp. And if it was a sharp knife, it would soon be a very blunt knife. Those hard feet really do take the edge off them. So I've dealt with the weight issue now. I'm just going to give this another little delicate clean and see. I can see this cow, some of her live tissue pushed out there, so I need to clean around that and see how we can bandage this and make her as comfortable. She does look a little bit sad. Hopefully she won't look so sad 
when we're letting her out. Back to her little calf. So I'm just going to use a little, she has a little di interdigital growth in there. I'm just using very minimal pressure. And we'll throw just a pink just digi on that growth in there. So the bandage that we put on is the most effective as it can be. There you go. And because it's not very bright in there, I've got my little phone light. Forgot my head torch today. Tom, Tom actually never goes anywhere without his head torch. Out for a meal, out for the night. I think he even wears it in bed, but I didn't tell you that. There's the live tissue there, which has been pushed out of this cow's claw, which I can't touch. And only a little hoof trimmer, but I'm going to I'm going to spray some iodine on this. Here you go. Probably going to use a complete roll of bandage on this one, just to give it extra protection. And because they're so, so because there's such a big area to bandage, I can put a massive blob on this here. I can run a massive big blob on that there and then push it up from the front. This is a really handy little clamp you can lift it off to get better access for the bandages. It's got the front nicely covered. Another wee bit to be sure, to be sure. <sighs> Comment below what your favourite little noise that we make is when we're trimming. This guy's going back here whenever she gets out. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Not the most perfect outcome, but we did the best that we could today to help that cow on her journey to a recovery. Take care folks and if you enjoyed the video we would always appreciate a new subscriber. Take care and see you all soon.